So here is the interior for the Vespolier for Archbishop Carroll. And this is where the wash box was ripped. The hull was totally ripped there, inside and out, where the bulkhead meets. And then the inner gunnel was ripped. That knee was kind of destroyed and I had to create one around the old knee. The top part was completely shot. So it's a carbon foam, carbon addition to the oak knee. And then here's position four on the port side and that knee was cracked so we f fused two carbon panels to either side of the the existing knee which should take care of it so here it is in the last hour now and I went to put the fin on now I had checked this and the rudder worked well so I figured that the um, rudder just snapped when the boat blew over but I went to clean off some of this silicone and there's a huge stinking hole that somebody just filled up with silicone over the years so I gotta try and do a quick and dirty on this thing for these guys so here we go with the uh, quick and dirty fin repair fin box so fill it full of plastic and uh, just put some primer on it. And we'll install the fin and put the rudder post back in and hope that that will solve the leakage. And then here we have the section of the boat where right here where the hull was completely ripped off. So actually painted back to the third position there. And then here we are at like position five, port side, and you can't even see what we did, but we had to fix the crack and uh, repainted the hull there. So here I've done a very quick and dirty spot repair on where the fin attaches to the boat. There was so much silicone in there had to dig it all out, try and get some plastic to stick inside there, so reseated the uh, rudder tube, so hopefully this thing won't leak anymore. Time will tell. So here we go, all set, boat's completed, and getting ready to go for delivery.